I'm Barbara Nevins Taylor. There are big consequences if you don't sign up for Medicare Part B when you turn 65. Sure, many of us may still be at work or have ongoing coverage from an employer or a union or a spouse, and that's okay. As long as you're still working, you don't need Medicare Part B immediately. But if you're not working and ignore it, it's going to cost you. If you don't enroll in Medicare when you turn in age 65 in your initial enrollment period, which is basically the three months before your 65th birthday, the month of your 65th birthday, and the three months after your 65th birthday. If you don't enroll in that period, you then have both two penalties, a waiting penalty and a monetary penalty. Joe Baker at the Medicare Rights Center finds that many people make this costly mistake. The time penalty works like this. If you don't enroll in that initial enroll enrollment period, you have to wait until January of March or any of any particular calendar year to enroll in Medicare for coverage that would begin on July 1st of that year. That means you are uncovered. You don't have health insurance for that period of time, even if you have so-called private insurance. You don't have any coverage in the intervening period because once again, remember your secondary insurance isn't going to pay anything because you should have had me Medicare primary. The monetary penalty costs you 10% for every year that you could have or should have signed up for Part B. This can easily jump to 20% because you have to wait until the next year to sign up. For the rest of your life, you'll always pay 20% more than what everybody else is paying for Part B. There's no way around this. They want you to sign up when you're 65. We want to provide incentives through penalties for people to enroll when they're 65 and healthy because that what that's those premium dollars help to um, you know pay for the care that 85 year old sick people are getting. The bottom line is only delay signing up for Part B if you're still working and have some kind of health insurance. We've got more about 55 plus issues on consumermojo.com. I'm Barbara Evans Taylor.